what were some of the unscripted moments that ended up in the final cup of, of a movie that were just the best, that were just so incredible, so amazing, yeah. that made these movies iconic, elevated them to the next level. I'm, I'm ranking this three, two, one. So number okay. one would be the best one. All but right. um, I love uh, everything in that scene with uh, in The 40-Year-Old Virgin with Steve Carell, Paul Rudd, Seth Rogen, and uh, Rom Romani Melko. Uh, that scene where Steve Carell is getting his chest waxed, that's all real. Like, like he had a carpet on his chest uh -huh. and they legit waxed it and they ripped it and they couldn't read do any, you know, do oh, any retakes. Yeah, yeah. His reaction to the pain is all yeah. real. <laughs> the reaction from Paul Rudd, Seth Rogen, and, and Romani, um, all real too. At some point you see them like, oh my God, I can't yeah. keep looking at this. Uh, number two in my list of um, falling with style is literally, this, this actor literally fell with style. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis in True Lies, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, there's that famous scene where the character has to uh, act as a spy and seduce this, this uh, unknown uh, person. And she has to perform this sexy dance. And there's a part where she's dancing on a bedpost and as she like she lunges back she legit slips falls down and as she falls down you can see arnold in the background kind of get up like oh he's about to get up and then he sits back down because jamie lee curtis she pops right back up mm -hmm. right into like without skipping a beat back into it and it's one of the most like it, the the scene is so tense and then when that happens you just start like laughing and you felt you feel that re you, that relief again but uh yeah jamie lee curtis she slipped but she went back right to it and it fits so well with the character that yeah. they kept it in. So that, that's my number two. Uh, my number one, uh, following with style, is a kind of a two-parter. Uh, this one uh, takes place in the OG Star Wars, later titled A New Hope. Uh, while playing Luke Skywalker, uh, dressed as a stormtrooper, Mark Hamill, he famously improvised the line when he had the helmet on, I can't see a thing in this helmet. The, the thing is, that's actually true. He, yeah. You really couldn't see much while wearing the stormtrooper helmet. And he improvised that line knowing that because you, know, you can't see his lips you can't see his mouth if George wanted to take it out in the edit there was no problem so he just said that he improvised that line they liked it so much that they kept it in but that leads to the number one uh, blooper uh, that they used in the film was when the stormtrooper in another scene is coming through uh, one of the the doors that's that's rising mm -hmm. up and because you can't see he, he, he bonks it yeah boom bonks it as he goes in and they, and they keep playing it playing it mm -hmm. out George Lucas I guess they missed that in the edit and so they just kept going with it and in later re-releases of Star Wars in the re-edits the multiple edits that George Lucas has done one of the great things he did was highlight that moment by putting like a bonk sound so if you yeah. watch Star Wars now and you see the stormtrooper hit his head there's now a bonk noise yeah. and that is perfect it's beautiful. Beautiful.